While some of the suspension components on automobiles and supercross bikes have the same names, like shocks, there are very few similarities. Supercross race bikes have advanced tunability, which is essential for conquering extreme obstacles. The suspension on a supercross bike is made up of the shock in the rear of the bike and the forks in the front of the bike. Your average automobile, uh, I don't think most people would know where the shocks are, and they're not adjustable. On a supercross bike, you can take the suspension apart to make it perform the way the rider wants to. Compression will control how quickly the suspension compresses when he hits a jump or comes into a corner and grabs the front brake, and the rebound will control how fast it returns. I would say typically in a race situation, they would either change like a spring rate or you know the valving and the suspension. You know, if you're gonna make bigger changes changes than that, you would do that during the week and in a kind of a more controlled environment. It's hard to test on the weekends because you only get so many times out on the track and you could definitely get lost on a weekend as well as trying to make it better. If you want a small adjustment just to massage it a little bit, you could do it with the adjuster. You don't even have to go into the suspension. Adjust the clicker here and there, one or two clicks and find that sweet spot. That's a, a small change. If you start getting to four, five, six clicks, you know, that's probably usually time to go inside and make an internal change. The coatings on this race shock are designed to give it less friction, which means over the period of a race, it won't fade. Fade is when the temperature of the shock reaches a certain point where the performance starts to drop because it's getting too hot. Inside here, there's a piston with a piston band around it that has to rub up and down inside this body. That creates friction. Friction is heat, and we don't like too much heat in these shocks. Certain riders are so smooth on the track, they don't get a shock very hot. Versus another rider who is not as smooth will put a lot more heat into this shock. In forks, we never talk about fade. Parts inside get hot, but nothing compared to a shock. A shock will get sometimes up to 300 degrees, like you can't touch it. Forks you could always touch. 